Hey everybody and happy Friday! Welcome back to the Flame in the Flood. Quick update for you guys. Uh, I am going to be on vacation for the next week and then traveling for business the week after that. I am working right now to build up as much backlog as I can and pretty much however much I have done at the end of this week is going to be how much goes out. I'm focusing on uh, the Flame in the Flood and also Hand of Fate, things that I can, uh, the things that generally get watched the most. Obviously I'm still trying to do my Isaac stuff, that's going to go as far as I get. Hopefully I will have enough stuff in the bank that it, it lasts <laughs> the entire time that I'm gone. Um, basically where I'm going I'm not going to be able to be making videos weekly. I do not have a powerful enough portable uh, solution to this. So this is just a heads up to you guys that if the videos suddenly stop, chances are that video will have a warning as well because I'll know when I'm not going to have any more time to record anything. But just in case that doesn't happen, I wanted to make sure you guys know. Uh, but yeah, let's get right back to it. <clears throat> So we're in a pretty good spot right now. We've got shelter and a stove, which is a lot of the stuff that I've been trying to get, basically. Uh, the past couple runs that we've kind of died from various things. Uh, we have our mouse. Have this set up for a wolf. I feel like there's a dead wolf body there. I don't think that's rigged. I'm very curious as to what's going on here. I thought that I slept and then everything was good to go. Like we were we were pretty much done. It was at the point where it was like, "Oh yeah, I need to I need to go." I don't know why I walked back in, but obviously something has gone a little awry here. Uh, I'm not quite sure what. I am running low on storage space, however. We need to be careful here, just in case there is a wolf. Cause there was a snake over here, I remember this. I dropped this. Yeah, because I made a bunch of wolf stuff that I'm now wearing. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Couldn't search these cars. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that something just kind of went weird in the code in terms of loading stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and head on out. Try and stay away from the glitchy stuff. I can't recover this trap, by the way. I think this is a, uh, a collapsed trap. Like, that's what it's supposed to be, but it's been rendered incorrectly. I, I can't quite tell you why. I'm sure it's probably just a, a little bug, something that's going to get fixed. I'll go ahead and put it in on the discussions, and hopefully we won't have to... Uh, well, luckily, they'll they'll be able to use that information and, and fix it. Okay, we got the search. I'm making sure it's not Cattail, because... Well, I like cattails. I already currently have quite a few. Alright. Don't see snakes, don't see a boar. I really don't need another jar. <clears throat> Excuse me. Rabbits, water. Good, I'll drink that. I might be able to kill a whole bunch of rabbits. If the opportunity arises, I might take it. I hear a crunching. I 
am in fact correct, there is a wolf there. That said, let's see what's going on over here. I searched this, right? Yeah, that's the jar. Yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about the rabbits, I don't think. Because, if I look at what I got... <clears throat> yeah, I got four chunks of meat that I need to cook at some point here in the near future. Need to take care of that. I'll probably cook when I finally get hungry enough to eat all of it. That's probably what my plan will be. At some point here, we're going to have to try uh, to get brave enough to kill a bear. I feel like it's almost uh, worthy of drinking some alcohol beforehand just as, as a joke. Liquid courage, whatnot. Okay, small town, plenty of shops to loot, heavy rain ahead. So, this is one of those places that ended our run a couple times ago. Uh, I don't remember how long ago it was. That was bad, by the way. Once again, the stove was extinguished. Not sure how big of a deal that actually is. Um, but yeah, the heavy rain caused some serious problems because we lost a lot of our body heat and we couldn't build a fire. Our stove, as you can see, has a wonderful little thing on the chimney to prevent water from putting it out. Now, it is nighttime. We do have wolf issues here. So I'm probably not going to be staying very long. Okay. Um, well, I need that raft schematic desperately. For the water collector. Um, we're gonna go ahead and consume that mulberry. <clears throat> Once again, excuse me, I apologize. If I have to get out my torch to get this, I will do so. I don't know if the torch gets put out by rain. If it does, I might be in some hurt. Okay, well, there is a boar right there. So if there's a wolf, I actually have a place to lead it. And that will distract them both, presumably. Don't hear any wolves just yet. don't have anything that I can give to Aesop right now. I really don't. Alright, so it looks like we're not getting a wolf. But I, have to, I do have to deal with this boar. Alright. So, there's a devil trump... <clears throat> excuse me, there is a devil's trumpet over there. That I would like to deal with here. Oh wow. I could have moved that to the raft too. Um... Three arrows... I still have one rabbit pelt. <coughs> Ooh, it must be all this rain. <laughs> Sorry, it's not really that funny of a joke. Okay, um... I'm actually maxed out on my stack of alcohol here. Which probably isn't a bad thing. I do want that Devil's Trumpet, though. Oh, this is taking too long. So I managed it. it seemed like he respected that a little bit, actually. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, I searched the toolbox that's right there. Okay, one sec. We gotta go back now. You wish, boy. I'm too good for you. Alright, so we can go ahead and we can make a stitching kit. 
with the fishing line that we just picked up. And then we can move this to ASAP. We got two empty spots. So we can go back and continue to forage and hopefully trick this boar. Oh, he's right there. Touche, you son of a bitch. Just take a moment to go make a splint. Alright. Yep, the boar got me there. I was, I was uh, overconfident. We're doing okay, though. So one of the things I do actually have to be careful of is I have to watch these... These levels, because I will eventually have to repair these. Look at that. Splint, good as new. I am cold. I hit escape one too many times. That was lucky. I don't actually want to take that alcohol. Oh, I'm getting hit again. I'm getting hit again. Uh, okay, he respected the fact that I was searching. Which is very kind of him. But we're also done here, so let's go. Oh, we're not quite done. I'm going to be sleeping here briefly. Alright, so. I did pick up this alcohol. I don't actually want this alcohol. I need the most, more empty spots, the better. Alright, so I'm going to be sleeping. For 50. This might warm me up a little bit. It probably won't, which means I'm going to have to make some tinder. Okay, it did warm me up a little bit, but we're still going to use the stove here. So I need to craft items. I need to make myself a tinder. I want to cook... Oh, no, 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 no. Not a torch. I already have a torch. I just misclicked. Tinder. He's got 47 cattails on us. Goodness. Alright. So we go ahead and kindle the stove. You'll notice that we get warmed up real nice and good here. So we're going to go ahead and craft items while we have the chance. Make ourselves some cooked meat. Three... <coughs> And four. We should be able to get through all of this without any of it spoiled. Let's go ahead and consume that. On the positive side, we're never going to go thirsty. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that we're uh, taking advantage of it since this storm is basically never going to stop while we are in this biome. And then we depart. It is morning. You won't believe it, but it is in fact morning. Camp is good. We're looking for uh, some of that wonderful, wonderful flint. A warm place for cats to sleep. There will not be a lit fire because of all the uh, all the rain. For a second, that just circle right there looked like a snake, and I thought I was being dumb. All call is not something I'm looking for. Lumber is good. I know, Asa. Kind of an invisible wall there for a second. Asa, man, don't don't run like that. I thought you were a wolf for like a fraction of a second, and it scared me. So yeah, flint always good. Now I do want to use it for arrows, which is very tempting. There's a lot more over here than there usually is. Where did that feather land? It's way too high for me to get. I actually can't click on it. I've lost my highlighting. There it is. Can I get it? Nope. Okay, so that's not happening. Oh, it was. It was just so high. Okay, so I can't pick that yuck up. Is there anything I can do about that? 
Um, I mean, this hydration is effectively useless. Like, hydration where I currently am is irrelevant. So I'm using it for the hunger. Which is exactly what I'm picking up the yuck for. And why I'm not going for the rabbits. Alright, let's cautiously explore up here as we haven't been up here yet. Quiet, buddy. Just perusing the area. I like how you're staying staying completely still. Alright, more flint. More flint. So that is a good amount of flint. I am happy about what just happened. Alright, so it's almost nighttime. So let's go ahead and see if we can manage to make one more stop. I don't think we can. 228 meters is a little far. But you never know. I guess it's not as far as I think it is. So the stove was extinguished. It, at least it said it was extinguished. I presume it burned out. Um, I don't know if it actually has a lingering effect. This isn't the Elder Wolf, is it? No. Maybe it is. It totally is. You can supposedly kill this one. Dare I try? Like, I know I could make tainted... I could throw the tainted bait at it, but from what I understand, that makes it run away. Maybe I need a jar of fumes it. Is it worth trying? I've got three arrows. Is that enough to kill it? I want to know. I do have more flint right now, but I want to save two of it. I want to try. I want to try killing this thing. I think the jar of fumes is a great way, because the other wolves, they get like stunned, and I bet if I shot them, it would be okay. Worst case scenario, I'm wasting a jar of fumes. I have a ton of sumac. I, in fact, need to not pick up any more sumac. Like, that actually needs to be a thing that I stop doing. Alright, so, Jar of Fumes. So, Jar of Fumes is six? Yes. What I really need to do is... So, and then four is the bow. Alright, it, it just stood there for the longest time. Oh my goodness. <coughs> Alright, so... We did do some, some stuff to it. But two is not enough. Unfortunately, uh, the whole... When you aim your bow like this, and you don't get any arrows or lines, it is still a thing. So, I think I need to post about that. I, th I think I brought it up in the past, but I don't think it's something I've brought up strongly. It's been always, like, on the side. I'm sad that we used some arrows, but it was worth the experimentation. Knowledge is power. It's corny, and, uh... And all that, but worth it. And we're gonna get some goods out of this. We're gonna get some feathers, which are arguably the harder thing to get. Uh, it's not necessarily true in this run. We've had more trouble. We've had more trouble getting the the flint, but it could be a lot worse. This is what I'm getting at. Cool. We can go ahead and consume one of these exactly. 
All right, so I'm thinking here. So far, so good. We're going to spend a little bit more time here pushing uh, to get to the end of this rainy biome. Having the stove makes me not worry about this biome's existence at all. Hey, look, it stopped raining. Is it going to immediately start again? Yup. That's just how this biome works. If you haven't seen it before, it will stop raining for only seconds at a time. Alright, we got some wilderness right up here. Is it worth stopping right here right now? Maybe. There's a church, which often has stitching kits. And I think it's about time to stop and sleep, is, is what I'm thinking. Macedon. Macedon? Macedon is what I'd say. Alright, so we are cold, but we are also tired. So let's go ahead and sleep. Oh, look, wolf. Once again, it does this thing where you gotta leave and come back. Yeah, still really weird. I, I'm gonna post about that again. So we're gonna sleep for the 50. That, it should put us at like 91, since apparently that's the only place it wants to put us. Yeah. You know what, our temperature's still doing okay. It's still night out, so I'm just gonna gonna go ahead and leave. I'm basically gonna land when it's day. It's not quite day, so I'm not gonna land at the church. Our temperature is getting a little low. That is true. If you look at the temperature in the upper right hand corner, you will see just quite how dire being wet really is. Just because that cold just soaks right through your bones. I, I pretty much need to stop at one of these. And it's going to be over here because we've got a marina. What do you know? It stopped raining. How long do you think that's going to last? At this point I just find it humorous. I know it's a little silly, but it's humorous to me. Alright, so. Often has alcohol and we're going to need it. So. Um, obviously it's about to rain, we're gonna explore this place, and then, uh, probably... Man. So what's funny is... Where's that coming from? We saw the wolf. It got bit by a snake and left. So, overall, win. <laughs> we found a lot of nuts and bolts here. That was a luckily placed snake, too. Now, these snakes are going to be a problem for us, but so be it. Take this jar. Oopsie, I had escaped to leave this. There's yucca back there, but I don't trust that there won't be snakes back there. Just moving real slow. Right. So we got a lot of rabbits here. We've already seen this one, an old story you've seen before. Question is, can I? Nope, I can't get them to go to the snakes. Alright, so now we need to leave. Stayed as far away as possible, and I think everything turned out okay. Alright, so, 
I'm gonna go ahead and consume. This jar is gonna be for our sumac. Consume. Consume. I'm gonna go ahead and fill these back up. Alright. And then we have to find a way to make space for our tinder. Oh, here's what we're gonna do, I think. Man, this is tough. I don't wanna... You know, I'm tempted to not use this flint, but I think I need to. I think I'll be able to find flint for a knife before it's absolutely necessary. So we're gonna get on the raft here, and there's a reason for this. Because the marina's right there, basically. 64 meters down stream, which turns out to be right around the corner, as I kind of expected. I always thought 280 was further, but really it's not. Alright, so, we are certainly cold, but what we are going to do is look at what we are going to get. We have two raft schematics, so the water purifier is where we're going. Three raft hardware, three raft framework. And then we're going to be working towards other stuff. The motor's pretty much our last priority, mostly because it's not really that useful, turns out. Right, so. Grab frame. Was it three and three? No, I need to double check. I don't want to accidentally overdo it. It is, in fact, three and three. Okay. We do have enough. I know this. This also whittles down some of our stacks because wood only stacks to five. The water purifier is going to do a couple things for us, but primarily it's going to save us space uh, because we won't need as many jars. So I'm also going to go ahead and make one set of moderate repairs. And now we'll go ahead and make one of that, one of those wonderful tender. And you'll see we've freed up a little bit of space because we used up some boards. Um, technically this is also empty if you think about it. We'll go ahead and move the uh, ten of these saplings to the raft. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get on the raft. So you notice the water is at 3%. We can watch how full this is. So we'll go ahead and use the stove right here since we are very cold. We're just gonna kindle it, and we're just gonna chill right here. Watch that temperature go up. This is what happens when you've got a nice warm stove right next to you. I don't think there's any specific items that we can craft, but look at that. Mmm, delicious. And so now that we are nice and warm, we'll go ahead and depart. Oh gosh. That was really worrisome for a second there. Alright, we did not eat it on the way out. Which was the plan, the master plan. Alright, now our main goal is really to just get out of this biome. Yikes! That was actually very close. Now I wanna... Nice, we got a flint. Alright, we've got a bunch of a bunch of good stuff on this side. Which is kind of unfortunate because we're still in a really crappy biome. The camp isn't actually uh well, the camp isn't really gonna help us because there's not gonna be a fire. Basically no safety. There's no safety for us here, because it's about to start raining, as it always does. Look at that guy. Oh, I guess, you know, we could have made... Oh, I guess it stopped raining. I wonder if we just barely hit the... Uh... So actually, it's still... It's still there. That's awesome. It's actually still there. Which is beyond my wildest expectations. Um, I do have the arrows to maybe kill it. I'm gonna wait. 
Let's wait. I'd rather not. I'd rather not expend those resources explicitly. And then it starts raining. So we managed to cure wet just in time to get rained on. Alright, and now... Alright, so I see it tells us the stove was extinguished. Nightcrawlers are good. I'm gonna have to come back to get those, though. We're kind of full up. What's here to loot? Some old lumber? I already have a stack of that. Sorry, I keep hitting escape to get out of that menu. It's just reflexive right now. I don't think I'll ever fully break that habit. Alright, so let's go ahead and move this to the raft. We actually have now more Devil's Trumpet than never before. Uh, we can go ahead and consume one of these, though. We're almost in need of more meat. We do have Nightcrawlers, though. Those will tide us over for a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to actually sleep right here. So we've got uh, 60, so I'll go ahead and sleep for the 62. For five hours. And then we're just going to go ahead and depart. Yikes! That was kind of dangerous. Now, I am docking here in Mergrenville. Is it a... Is it, I mean... There's a chance that this right here doesn't happen. So I took it. It lost us a little bit of time. But it effectively guarantees that our next location will be daytime. Because we don't see anything on the horizon just yet. I could try and go for that free stuff, but... Ah, oh, crap. Crap, crap! So, high water ahead. I don't know what exactly that means. Maybe that means more debris. But it means it's no longer raining, which is nice. And also, I'm surprised I only hit something once during that entire little bit there. Alright, we've got hardware store. I think we want to go hardware store. I'm thirsty, that does not surprise me, nor worry me. So, the important thing to know is when it comes to the water purifier. So, if I look at the raft. Once again, that's really kind of super annoying. Especially because suddenly I can't get back. I'm running against the invisible wall. I have to step a little bit out and then step back in. Which I can understand. I can understand not wanting to do it, accidentally bounce back and forth. Really? Still wolf? I want to kill this wolf, but it's going to cost me arrows. And the problem, the other, the bigger problem, I would go so far to say, is that I don't know if killing this wolf once is going to make it go away. It's here during the day. That's brutal, by the way. It really is. It's tough. Um, and I'm not quite sure the best way to go about doing it. I don't want to waste a ton of resources on doing something that I might not be able to do. I know that wolves take three arrows to kill. The bigger issue is going to be if this one takes more. Because as we saw in the last encounter, it pretty much took all the time I had to fire three arrows, because I fire, I actually fired two and I kind of messed up firing one because my the, the lines wouldn't draw for how accurate my shot was. I suppose if I got up really close, I could rapid fire into it. I don't know if that's a good plan. I think we're going to try staying a little bit further out this time. And go from there. I think that's the plan. I think that's the plan. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and eat this, since we can do that exactly right now. That'll open up a spot for fur and meat, if we do succeed. So once again, going from 6 to 4. Dead. 
I'm gonna let that cloud dissipate. So it is three shots. I still see a green, and it's gone. Elder Wolf Hide. All right, so. Let's see what we can do with it. Is there Elder Wolf Jacket? Oh, there's a White Wolf? That's terrifying. Since we're near the raft, we can now make it. Made from the hide of an elder wolf, this jacket is, oh cool, as warm as bear hide and has a chance to prevent lacerations from wolf attacks. So, okay, it didn't really move that much. So we, unfortunately, we've got this wolf hide jacket that I don't know what to do with. Wet cured, bam, no longer cold. Love it. I guess we just discard it? I feel terrible just discarding it. Make rags and new draft. I, I feel terrible about that. I really do. Wow, you can still search its corpse even though its corpse is gone. Alright, so now we see if it stays away or not. I need, like, one itty-bitty bit of stamina left back. Can't pick that one up. Man, that took a while to get open. So, I actually need, believe it or not, another leather kit now. Uh, because I was I was, I equipped myself for wolf and I replaced a wolf with an elder wolf. Water collector is full. That is good to know. There are rabbits over here, which is also good to know. This is a stitching kit. If I can make room for it. Which I should be able to do. Which I will be able to do, but let's see what else is around. Okay, there's a raft schematic, which is something we need. That's empty, that sucks. Okay, so we got a raft schematic, we got like two things we need. It's a lot of little tiny bitey bugs. Found a sapling. Yeah, I can't do anything about those rabbits, even if I had sumac stuff left. I've got water right there, which is great. Alright, so I have to come back with two empty slots. That should be doable, easily. Well, first off, because I can eat these. But, okay, so I can move this to the raft. I need two for the pants. Oh, I need two for the pants and one for the hat, don't I? Or do you need one for the pants, one for the hats? One, one for the hat, two for the pants? Yeah, I still have boarhide pants. Oh, that's right, because the jacket used two, and I was expecting to not have to do that. So I actually need one more leather kit, which sucks, but I could do right now. I wish... so there's a white wolf. I wonder if it's going to be my, uh... Oh, that's right, I needed two empty slots, not one. Be my Moby Dick. The Moby Dick to my Ahab, apparently. Um, oh right, I can just... Problem solved. Okay, let's go. 
Let's get these before maybe more wolves show up. I don't know if like all the wolves are gone now. Maybe I should try and kill one of those rabbits. Uh, I actually could get in. It would just be challenging. Which, you know, is no excuse. Was it here? No, that was a knit hat. Oh, that's right. I need two slots so that I, uh, yeah, so that I could make the stitching kit. Perfect. And then one to pick up the raft schematic. And I actually need to do some juggling right now. I actually need to move this back to me. Almost consumed that. That would have been bad. I actually have never had intestinal parasites. I think I get rid of that with the blind tea as well. Alright, so here's the challenge. So I have to kill the rabbits from underneath because that gives me the most range of, like, the most vision. But I still don't have great vision is the problem. I have no idea what the hell's going on over there. Go a screen away. Come back. Oh, it's nighttime. Alright, we're not getting anything else out of these out of these guys, so we might as well back out. I'm gonna go ahead and just drink from here. So, uh, I did start talking about the uh, the water collector. And since the water collector is full, um, it's actually a good boon for us. See? Full. Boom. Uh, the water collector is just like one of those pumps. When it is full, I am full. Like, just plain and simple. There's my cursor. My cursor went missing for a second there. I was very... Well, not very concerned, but slightly concerned. Well, let's be honest, it would be nothing new. So are we free of elder wolves for a time? Find another snake. That didn't kill the wolf, did it? Unfortunately, I could not find another snake. Luckily, my sprinting is capable of outrunning them by just a little bit. Alright, so since I can't seem to get past 91, I'm just going to go ahead and sleep for the 50 and just go to the 91. I'm really sad there wasn't any more snakes. Ah, darn, it's raining. That's annoying. And since it's still nighttime, which I would have known, I should have known, that would have been the case. This is going to be rough. I'm holding back to slow us down so we can wiggle around that container. Whew! That was close. That was a tight fit. Alright. Mm, this... Where? Oh god. No, 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 no. Okay. I... Oh gosh, I triple boosted. Or triple paddled. I'm not quite sure which it really is. Alright, we've got a marina. I would like to go to the marina. That container just blocked me off there. I think we're just going straight for the marina. I hope I have enough resources. We'll find out. Alright, so I have a... I have raft schematics. Or one, at the very least. Right? I've got one. Right, it's on ASAP. So, first off, let's go ahead and consume this. And let's go ahead and consume this. Now I see four nuts and bolts and two. So I am actually set for what I want. And that is extra storage. So we've got the raft motor, the sturdy frame, and the raft storage left. That is it. Which means we need a grand total of three, four, five raft schematics, of which we have one. So we're going to need four after this. One raft hardware and one raft framework. 
So I can go ahead and make those. So I wrapped frame. And I believe that is all the lumber that we have. Yes, it is. But that's okay. With our sudden boon... Oh, the sturdy frame requires two of each. That's good to know. The wrap storage suddenly... Look at all that space. Look at it. Um, am I going to go ahead and do minor repairs? I actually am. I'm going to do two of them, too. Puts us at 97. We're going to need nuts and bolts eventually, but being up in full health is important. And now we get to do the big benefit of this. Boom. Oh, isn't it lovely? It, it's lovely. You have to admit it. So we're going to go ahead and move that to the raft. Gonna go ahead and move that to the raft. Gonna go ahead and I actually could move the sumac there now that the majority of my heat usage is on the raft. Boom. Uh, I should keep that with me. I can go ahead and move this to the raft. I'm not really gonna use it anywhere. Like if I'm being attacked by wolves, I'm not gonna stop right there and stitch it up. So we can put that there. These jars. Here's the thing. If you haven't watched the, the the string of episodes that were the really long run, which now that I think about it, I should probably label these these runs. Um, I just don't like to give away whether or not I die in an episode, basically. Two, basically one is all I ever actually need on me. Uh, the only real weird thing is I have to move them to my bag before I can use them. Um, so we'll do this, and that'll be fine. We're going to go ahead and consume this stack while it's still relevant. It's actually just a little bit colder than what I can can deal with right now. Uh, we should be able to make it to the next spot though. Oh, we're wet, that's why. That's right, it was raining. Look at how much space we have, just look at, look at how awesome how all this space is. We'll go ahead and move this to ASAP. This would be great to start with, are you kidding me? I would love that if I die. So we're going to go ahead and depart. So, with the water full, we really will not be using very much. Because we were in the rainy part of uh, uh, the rainy biome, the I'm going to rain every 10 seconds until I'm blue in the face sort of thing. Literally, because that would be hypothermia. Um, that was a close dodge. Nice, and we're good as new. With the water purifier as it is, that fills up pretty fast. Unless we're in a wasteland, probably not an issue. It's raining again. Damn. But yeah. Is this a new song? No, it's not. I just don't think I've heard it from the explicit start. I really did not expect Flint to be such a big issue. But it just started raining and now I'm cold. There's a wolf chomping over there, by the way. Heard it. All right, we have to make a decision here: whether I kindle up the fire now or if I wait until the next stop. I think we wait until the next stop. I think I'll be okay. It would be nice if the rain stopped. Yeah, I've got time. I'll probably kindle it up before I, maybe after I go to bed. Just in case, sort of thing. Unless I'm really low on it. Yeah, I'm pretty low. You know, we haven't run into the only other NPC that we ever find yet. I wonder when that happens. Alright, that's two of the few raft schematics we need. Dang. Hmm. 
No, come closer. You're so close. How many arrows do I have left? One. Alright. It's not raining anymore. The insect bites make make it look worse than it is. Another devil's trumpet. Okay, I need to not get hit there. Good. I've got aloe. I'll be okay. I think the temperature is what's doing it more than anything else. Alright, so let's do some real basic stuff here. Uh, move this to the raft. Move this to the raft. Go ahead and move this to the raft as well. Uh, let's go ahead and get some aloe. Where's the aloe? The bag. Let's go ahead and use that on those bug bites. Thank you. Move that back to the raft. Go ahead and make some tinder. We'll go ahead and use that stove. And we're just going to go ahead and kindle it up. Bam! Wet cured. Isn't it lovely? It's beautiful. Alright, so I'm actually going to quick, while we're warming up, is go to craft items. We're going to go ahead and... we have enough stuff for a gas bomb? Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and make a gas bomb. And cook some meats. Oh, that's right. We got that from killing... That was from the Elder Wolf. So we'll go ahead and cook the meat that we just got from the rabbit, too. Now, we're going to need a workbench to make that into a leather kit before we can do much. But I've got technically everything I need if I can find a workbench before... Uh, I mean, we're already out of a more... I don't want to say technological biome. But, uh, it's kind of what I mean, I guess. So, I'm going to make some headway. Let's put some miles on. I am thirsty, that is okay. I am holding forward, so I am forcing it to go a little faster. I suppose that could deal us more damage if I hit something. But overall, I think it works out. Okay, so we're ready to stop and sleep. I see a hardware store. That's where I'm headed. There's a, that's a gas station over there. And we're gonna aim for this. Go ahead and make that last leather kit. First, I'm gonna go ahead and take a nap. Now, on the positive side, I haven't seen the Elder Wolf in a while. I don't know if he comes back every X miles. That would be interesting. Um, that would actually be really interesting. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and sleep right here. Uh, once again, we gotta... Sleep, we were at 28. That puts us at 90. That was weird. I'm gonna help go ahead and go to sleep. It's gonna be a couple hours into the morning. Because we slept for a little bit longer than I had initially expected. That's okay. So we're going to go ahead and leave the raft. The stove extinguished, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and eat some of this. I am really in need of some flint. kit. We got exactly what we need. Alright, so that leather kit's going to come in handy eventually. And by eventually, I mean hopefully soon. I do basically just need to kill some wolves. I'm okay picking up jars because we're going to need them for sumac bombs, basically. That's the long and short of it. Or gas bombs, technically. 
And we've got the space for him. So I'm dehydrating. That means that my... Uh... Oh, there's aloe. Nice. That means that I am at 25 for water. And that's about the time that I like... to go ahead and drink out of the water purifier. So unless this has changed, we're going to go ahead and go to the water purifier. And I'm going to go ahead and drink water. Now you can fill a jar, and look at that. Bam. Done. So we're going to go ahead and leave the raft, because I want to see what it, if it's actually empty. Or if it's at like 25. That'd be interesting if it was at like 25. It was completely empty. And that's already at 1%. So we're going to go ahead and depart. Let's see if we can hit anything up. If you hit anything else up while it's still day. And it's almost the end of the episode. How unfortunate. This, this run, this episode seems to have gone by very quickly. So once again, it's raining. Definitely, definitely, it's going to rain here any moment. Uh, definitely super happy about the stove. The stove was a great decision. As a first thing. I would be dead by now. I'd be so dead. Oh, of course, civilians. Okay, so, this way sound like the chemistry, slow river, clear skies. Right here, this is where water gets super dangerous. I'm glad we actually just filled up. But we're gonna be able to watch very nicely this correlation with the percentage of the water purifier. And that's going to be something that we'll keep an eye on. And I'm definitely keeping an eye on over the course of the next, uh, well, this biome. Which is most likely going to be this, uh, upcoming episode, not this episode, but next episode, so you're going to be watching that more closely. Now basically, I have to optimize using all my stuff as much as I can. This is the one place where having a motor is actually really good. I am forever holding forward. I do not have the stuff to make that worthwhile. Always using this whenever it's full. Taking advantage of the fact that normally you only get three uses out of it, so... And, and you get a use even if you have a smidgen, you get the full boost. It's not really a boost, it's like a paddle, but boost is a... I think... It captures the essence of, of the action. Stop sign. I don't need rags. Oh yeah, bring it, wolves. If they are wolves, I bet you I could get them killed. Save myself some arrows, or some tainted meat. Now let's not fuck with the bear. I think not fucking with the bear is the best plan. But I think killing the bear is the exact same premise as killing the elder wolf. And that's what was suggested to me. I believe it was once again Albert who suggested it. Or explained it. Uh, so 37%. That, that's where the water is. 37%. And it fills me up full. You can see why water suddenly stops becoming much of an issue. And, and that's... I think that's the goal of everything. Uh, if you look at the various resources that are important in this game, because there are resources, I think by definition in a survival game, that are, are important, that are quintessential for a successful um, run, for being, if you were the survivor, comfortable um, in, in your surviving. You know, the not necessarily hanging on by the skin of your teeth sort of situation. The first one being food. Second one being rest. These are in no particular order because it's literally just the ones that are popping in my head. Hunger. And the fourth one, which is a little bit more of a game mechanic, but I think still partially holds true if you were to envision yourself in this situation. And that is storage space. Those are like the four big resources that you can have in this game. Water, food, heat. I, f I think I forgot to say heat. Uh, so five. 
So there's there's five main resources that you need in this game. And you basically have to get along with them. And each one of the raft upgrades uh, gets you there. Uh, in some way or other. Now there are two other raft upgrades that kind of don't fit that bill. That being the, uh, the two that we don't currently have. And I think that's kind of what it speaks to. Um, and we're going to actually go ahead and sleep here and, and end the episode. But I, I will finish my point here. So you've got food, which is, uh, you know, we'll get to food last, because food has an extra point to it. I'm just going to explore a little bit, see what's here. I don't hear a wolf. There we go. Normal wolf. Actually, you know what? I do need to kill it. So is it five? Yeah. I just hope there's not three. I'm gonna loot your dead body before it's cold. Alright, so. First off, go ahead and make some of our wonderful clothes. Oh, we can make wolf hide pants? Let's make wolf hide pants. So, uh, the point that I'm trying to make. Water. Because uh, this is what I've been talking about most recently. Water is important. Um, obviously, for human need, right? You need water built to survive. Um, and so water is one of the things that gets addressed by one of the raft upgrades. And that is, of course, our water purifier that's sitting wonderfully right there. Awesome. Great. Thumbs up, right? Done and done. Uh, and then we go... Uh, heat is... Our, our stove, um, fatigue, or, you know, being well rested, that's our shelter. Uh, space is the, 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 the storage upgrade, and the pouches, and, um, gosh, of course, I'm gonna, like, be forgetting these as I go. That was four. Uh, the fifth need is food, and the reason why I bring that up is food doesn't have a raft upgrade that makes it easy. It doesn't. And the reason for that is because that's where the difficulty curve comes in. That's how the game gets harder, right? Think about it. Uh, especially in, in uh, the previous iteration where I made it like 150 miles. I built up all these stores of extra food and it was when I started whittling them down, when resources started getting harder in terms of getting food, that it made things bad. Quote unquote bad, right? Made it difficult, made it actually seemed like we could lose. That's what caused it, was food. Everything else is easy. Especially once you get the raft upgrade, it's significantly easier. Now, I would argue with you that you can never have enough space because space lets you stockpile food and resources that would make the game easier, right? But it turns out that you can pretty densely pack stuff, um, especially jerky, Really? I got you from all the way over there? Go away. Boar. You were like all the way up here. Okay, good. I'm out of his territory. I want to search those two, and he's probably going to get set off by me touching either of them, so. Um, but yeah, food is where the difficulty lies, effectively. You're all... Do you not go away? Alright. Whatever made him run away, sure. I need to sleep <laughs> so bad. Um, but yeah, food is where the difficulty curve is is made easiest. Right. And we can go ahead and make another tainted bait to replace that. Now, as I was saying, there are two other resources that quote-unquote, you know, get addressed in the raft upgrades, and that is the extra strength on the raft, because your raft surviving is kind of important, right? 
And also the other thing being um, speed, because there's the motor, being able to get places faster. So let's go ahead and sleep, and I'm going to be sleeping a lot. By the way, our water is 100% full, and we're right there, so beautiful. I can go to 88. This is basically going to make it night again. This is my own fault, by the way. I did a poor job of my timing and, and all that. So, we can go water, drink our water. We're going to leave the raft, get the saving, and then that'll be episode. Saving, saving, saving. So yeah, that's uh, a quick brief point on where the difficulty of the game lies, mixed with the whole human needs mechanic, and uh, where the difficulty of this game truly lies. Um, in the end game, I should say, because those difficulties change and vary earlier on in the game, based on what you prioritize. And maybe I'll discuss a little bit about that next time, but we've already run way over time, uh, so I hope that you have enjoyed this episode, and I will see you all, hopefully, next time.